Marseille fourth on the inside major mark and then came Terra to Love MacBenner. A few of these big bangers with work to do. Third quarter 27.8. Ohoka Texas runs for the judge. Tommy's back to the Ice Bloodstock Express Lane. High view Tommy. Here's Terra to Love now around Marseille and out wider was Gold Ace. Terra to Love swept upon them. Marseille high view Tommy into placings but it's Terra to Love. He's going to win. He beat Marseille and high view Tommy. Major mark fourth. Then came Gold Ace, Auckland Reactor, Ahoka, Texas and Franco Emrys. Yeah, no, I was really happy with him. They didn't go as hard as I thought and um, so, you know, had to put in a good sprint to actually win it. Really professional performance from him. Stepped away nicely, got into the right spot. Uh, Marseille gave you plenty to think about though. Oh yeah, well I drove him last year so I know how strong he is. So, you know, um, you know Graham said this probably will improve yet so, you know, probably didn't need to improve too much. Two drives on race day, very impressive at the trials and now very, very good in the Avon City Ford Cup. I'm picking you're quite happy to be sitting in that seat. Yeah, no, I'd have to say I don't, don't think I want to be on anything else at this stage. I can see why you came back from Canada. Yeah, it's uh, always good to come back to something like that, isn't it? Yeah, look, he looked fantastic condition-wise. Did you note the change? I know you're only away five or six weeks, but he just looked bigger and stronger. Yeah, well, he sort of looked that way before I left, but, um, you know, Dad's uh, been doing a good, pretty good job while I've been away, so, uh, yeah, can't really fault him. All right, into the classic for him, a race he won last year? Yeah, yeah, all going well, so, um, yeah, that's the plan, and then maybe the flying stakes after that. Just further improvement there, Ant? Yeah, he's heading the right direction, Greg. He's exactly where we want him and uh, progressing forward from that first run. So, you know, he's not there yet, but uh, he's on the right track. Terror to love. He went past you, but I'll tell you what, you were giving him plenty to think about. Uh, 50 metres off the post, you were coming back. Yeah, like he, he got past me sort of, not easy enough, but he got past me and then, you know, he just couldn't get away from my fella and he, my fella really dug in deep, so I was really wrapped with the run. See him next in the Classic? Probably, yeah, yeah, probably. So, uh, we'll just play where he's, you know, he's got good form now, but we're not going to protect his form, but... Uh, you know, we want him peaking on Cup Day, so uh, so we'll just have a think about it and go from there. Well, Blair, at this stage of his preparation, you would be mightily pleased. Yeah, that was ideal first up, Greg. You know, his man is getting to the lead early and then, you know, a soft trip throughout the journey and, you know, he got up the inside there good, but, you know, take a lot out of that run as he come to the end of it, sort of 50 to 60 out. All right, he'll go to the Classic probably in a couple of weeks and follow a similar path, which saw you finish third last year. Yeah, well, Greg, he, he takes a bit of racing, you know, and if you've seen him, he's still quite round and, you know, he's still got some condition to lose, so he, he'll just go in all the races that are available for him now and, you know, with that Tuesday, the main game. That was a pretty nice run. Good run, Greg, yeah. Yeah, I was the first time I've driven him, but uh, pretty impressed. Yeah, followed the speed nicely, stepped nicely. They're all attributes you need uh, in about six weeks' time if he's able to get in the field. Oh, well, I was, you know, that's, that's the plan, I suppose, for Mark. But, um, yeah, I, I was really hoping Mark would just run along a wee bit quicker. Might have suited him better, you know, but uh, you couldn't, couldn't complain about why you're at home anyway. Well, he's back to his old tricks at the start, Mark. He is, but he was fractious tonight, Greg, and just being first time back in the track for so long, I think it just nerves took, took over and, uh, you know, just lost it early. He had no right to finish as close as what he did. I was thrilled with his performance. I went up the inside probably about 1,200 from home because... Uh, you know, you could tell it was going to be a fast last half, but you know, he, he really impressed me tonight, the way he felt and, and the way he finished it off. Clocked 154.7 his last mile. He doesn't need to go too much better than that, does he? No, he doesn't, but uh, I'm sure he will. He'll be better for the run and, and look All right. Fun. We see him in a couple of weeks in the Classic? Yes, we will, yep. And then came out wider, our white knight, Mel Park Major, and then came Mr Douglas. Caribbean Blaster going for home, though, from Dominus Vobiscum. Third quarter in 27-9. It's Caribbean Blaster from Dominus Vobiscum, then Jukebox Music. Jack of Clive can't go on, but it's all Caribbean Blaster. He's brilliant. He's now had two starts and stands, and he's won them both. Dominus Vobiscum, very good second. Third goes to Jukebox Music. And then we've got Vice Chevron to Rex Dunn and Cullen. And the last pair, New Revenue, and just outside that air county, up to the home corner they come. 300 metres to go, and four starts, flash the leader. Comes round the turn, starts to sprint, it's out by length and a half. And then down the outside, we've got here comes Stalin Cullen and the choice achiever in the middle of the track and getting through on the inside and running on by Chevron Direct. But the leader, choice achiever, Stalin Cullen motoring home down the outside, but choice achiever, choice achiever beats Stalin Cullen by Chevron Direct, four stars flat. Yeah, plenty to talk about there with the uh, Cup Watch, Craig. Firstly, back to the Avon City Ford. The winner was phenomenal, but there were plenty of cases to be made on behind too. 
Oh, they were, Jess. Uh, Terra Talavi backed up those two solid trial performances with an outstanding performance first up. Three back on the outside, Jess peeled at the 400. Very quick last quarter, and he just picked them up with ease. Uh, I thought it was an ideal uh, hit, uh, hit out uh, first up, Jess, because it wasn't a hard run, and he glided past Marshish. Um, Highview Tommy got a lovely trip on the trail. He's battled on really well to run third, but G Terra to Love was good, and he's heading in the right direction for the New Zealand Cup. Backed into 3.25 now on the fixed odds to win the Cup, Jess. Major Mark was probably an eye-catching run. We'll look at his run later uh, in the myth and preview, but I thought that was a really good run. Gold Ace... I thought he was okay, Jess, because he was on the back of Terra to Love. When Terra to Love went, he couldn't go with him. He did make ground solidly at the end of the race, and hey, he may have needed that run, but uh, gee, Terra to Love got, got away by about two or three lengths on him at the 400 metre mark. As we look at the start, probably the one we want to talk about is Auckland Reactor. He had a gallop early, Jess, and that's the old Auckland Reactor. We don't like to see that, but gee, his sectionals afterwards were outstanding. Mark took the uh, sensible approach and ducked to the marker pegs at the 1200. He went up the inside. He knew he could couldn't go round them. He made up great ground to run his last mile of 154.8 and his last half 54.7. So that was a really good run. Franco Emirates slow away again. The race wasn't set up for him. Again, the last part of the race was was uh, very good running into seventh. But uh, gee, it's hard to go past Terra to Love on the way he's performed uh, with two trials and one uh, one run back at uh, the track. It was an absolutely outstanding performance. And uh, Greg O'Connor said, uh, Ricky may it be hard to get him off. I'd suggest a crowbar wouldn't get him off, Jess. Uh, he's glued to that seat for the New Zealand Cup. Well, he knows how to win a New Zealand Cup. That is one thing for sure. Uh, just looking at the Stipes notes, uh, of course, the horses we mentioned, Auckland Reactor, Mac Banner, Gold Ace, all making mistakes at the start. Uh, Major Mark was inclined to hang a bit. And Franco Emirate, Jim Curtin reported that the horse only travelled moderately uh, during the race. Uh, he was vet checked, no abnormality. So he is hoping everything is A OK with Franco Emirate. Uh, to the Gamalite, Craig, we saw Caribbean Blaster winning uh, two from two now from the standing start. Yeah, they're going to be very happy, Jess, and they've moved up a, a couple of spots in the rankings too, which will certainly uh, ease their pressure a little bit. The only thing I'd say about him, Jess, and, and the niggly point about him is his over-racing again. Um, he didn't settle in the race at all. Uh, he took hold of the driver at about the 600 metre, 800 metre marker and had to go to the front. But he cannot win a two-mile cup, uh, Jess, if he doesn't settle in the running. I mean, he can get away with it in, in that grade. And there were some very nice horses in that race. Mel Park Major, Jacka Clive. But against the best in Australasia, you've got to settle over two miles. And that would be my only query. He's been backed in solidly in the market from $21 to 11 We said last week the $21 was good. Well, the punters have reacted into $11 now for, to win the New Zealand Cup. He has halved his quote. It was a very good run, Jess. And what the pleasing part is, two starts from a stand, two very good victories. Yeah, we'll wait and see uh, what the word is from across the ditch too as the connections of Caribbean Blaster. Uh, just uh, on the withdrawals, Mustang Mark has been withdrawn. Uh, Greg O'Connor has kindly sent through a few notes uh, from his findings newswise uh, around the Cup. Premier Stables are delighted with the progress of Hunter Cup when a choice achiever. We saw that trial there. A nice trial win confirming he's very much on target. He'll join Marseille as stunning Cullen in a three-pronged attack on the Canterbury Classic. That's at Addington uh, on the 12th. Terra to Love, we heard from Paul Court there. Um, he He's uh, very happy with the way the horse pulled up. He couldn't be happier with the horse at the moment, Terra to Love. Paul Nairn, uh, his former star trotter Stig, and stablemate Musgrove will return at Addington on Friday night in a small but very strong field. Paul is very happy with their progress and expecting them to be very competitive on Friday. Uh, Brent Mangos reports that last season's Queen of Hearts winner, Better Cover Lover, has completed over three weeks of hopper work and is set to make a racetrack return late November. Can't wait to see her back. Uh, All Stars stable report that Fly Like an Eagle and Sushi Sushi both trialled uh, that good at Methvin on Saturday that it was a no-brainer that they would both start in this week's Cup at Methvin. So thanks, Greg, for passing on that information. We see the rankings here. Uh, Marseille has moved. A Caribbean Blaster is, or Caribbean Blaster has moved up as well. And as mentioned, Mustang Mark uh, was a scratching this week. So a shame for that. Uh, but Craig, as we have a look at the market, understand you've been talking to Steve Richardson about that. We have a win market now and also fixed odds place. Yeah, Terra to Love, Jess, obviously on the back of that very good performance. Into 320, it's not on the back of a large bet, Jess, because there was a $5,000 investment before that race, but just a lot of multis, and basically all multis running through Terra to Love at this stage. They've shifted them into 320. Auckland Reactor stayed pretty stable at six. Gold Ace, $8. He got a short of $7 last week. Sushi Sushi out to 10. Franco Ledger, well, he was eight. He's out to 10. 
Uh, Caribbean Blaster, the big move at $21 last week into $11. He's probably shortened his quote. The rest of them, you've got Sir Lincoln, uh, Franco Emerald at 13, Marshish at 15, and of course, probably uh, Stun and Cullen, better at the trials last week, Jess at $15. The Ruffies, well, Choice Achiever, he got out to $51, Jess, uh, during the week. Uh, with a win at the trials, he's into $26, so he's probably been the big mover. And of course, he's fifth in the rankings, so he's basically guaranteed a cup start. If you're looking at the place odds, uh, 150 Terra to love, well, you'd think he'd run in three in the cup on his form at the moment. Auckland Reactor, 240. Gold Ace, 220. Nothing much of much significance there. Caribbean Blaster into 350 now with the win move as well. And Choice Achiever, as I suggested, he was 51 and 12 on Tuesday. He's into, I think, 26 and 5 at the moment. So, he has been the big mover in the last 48 hours.